10-4. Tanya don't talk numbers, baby. Unless you talk in 420, then we got a date. Uh, 10-1, you're breaking up. Over and out. Man, ain't this like the fifth time? Ain't there any other fools out there you can guilt trip into working for no pay? You in the groove now, Franklin. And you and JB was homies before you had hair on your balls. Yeah, so you keep telling me. I still remember that time your grandpa caught you and JB slinging cigarettes. <laughs> Chased you all over South LS. <laughs> yeah, man, shit, that was a good hustle while it lasted. You still kicking it with that shit talk of Lamar? Oh, yeah, shit, I'm stuck with that fool forever. We didn't have much, but we did it right on Farm Drive. without me getting you all hot hey, under the collar. There it is. Okay, fool on the radio said drop it at the repair shop. I heard that. Over. I think there's one on Adams Apple Boulevard. You about earned a tow job of your own. Come on, Tanya. I told you, you better than that. Don't get all high and mighty. You no different. You ain't afraid to use what you got to get paid. Man, what are you talking about? I heard about you rent boying on the side, selling yourself. What? That's what people are saying. You know Sharonda's cousin, Kiera's nephew, Deontay? Skinny kid with the big head? They call him golf club. No, I don't know Sharonda's cousin, nephew. He saw you with a rich white boy. I ain't judging. <laughs> I mean, we all got bills to pay. Man, that's so messed up, I don't even know where to start. Crackhead-ass grapevine really outdone they self this time. Just drop that bad boy in the parking lot, and we done. Oh hell. What you doing, Franklin? Toying with me? That should do it. Can you give me a ride back to the yard? Like I don't got nothing else better to do than drive your ass around. JB will make it up to you as soon as he gets back on his feet. Yeah, I heard that one before. We'll get some drink, get some smoke, get some good food, do it right. Me, you, JB, Tanisha, if you want. Now that ain't happening. Okay. You, me, JB, and that clown Lamar Davies, old school. If you ain't too busy rent boying, that is. <laughs> Fuck you.
solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Again, how does that make you feel? Good. It makes you feel good? So you're fine with your woman out here with another man earning your money for you. I know, but I'm functional, baby. That's the difference. You don't even pull your pants down to piss no more. And where's my wedding? We'll be honeymooning on Mission Road way things are going. So you keep saying? Only ring I've had my finger in stank of your lazy ass. Yeah, well, you need to get your head straight. I ain't waiting around forever. Hey, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Appreciate it. I need a cab as soon as possible. Sorry, all the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call back later. About to me. I'm really sorry. I don't have any free cars right now. Woo! <laughs> 
How's it going? This is as far as I can go. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug, and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. You got any cabs available? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. All right, thanks. Hello there. Hey there. Some of us have to work for a living. You're such a retard. Hey, my man, where you going? Morning, Wood. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? And you know it. Hey, 
You'd never believe what people do in the back of cabs. Don't worry, I clean it good. Come on, let's go! Buckle up! is so much fun when you've been drinking. Get too crazy with that, you hear?
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! You get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We gotta shoot him! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Where is that son of a bitch? Keep your eyes open! He's here somewhere! Get an ambulance now! Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. The answer's no. I can't holler at my boy now? Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it.
Pig! Get a life! Wageni Pilla! Loser! Show me some. 